What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Turkey Chang coming back with another fragrance review. Versace Dylan Blue. Before we get into it, guys, like, comment, and subscribe. We're almost at 1k subs. Isn't that crazy? We're almost there, fragrance fam. Sub up, and I'll do more reviews. Hopefully, y'all can come for the ride. Alright, let's get right into it. Alright, Versace Dylan Blue. I can't believe it took me this long to review Versace Dylan Blue. This fragrance is absolutely amazing. Let me just open up this box first. Give me a second. Alright, I got it done. So right off the bat, um, great bottle design. Very reminiscent of uh, Versace Pour Homme. You got the Medusa. You got the gold and the blue. Very, very nice look. Gold atomizer, fantastic. Alright, let's talk about this bad boy. This bad boy is an amber citrus spicy yet musky yet and broxen fragrance and i absolutely love it definitely a blue fragrance a safe blue fragrance in my opinion this one to me comes off with that bergamot opening that you get from let's say a dear sauvage but it also has a hint of that grapefruit sparklingness that you find in a blue de chanel edt isn't that crazy it's like it has the 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 opening notes of both dear sauvage and also Blue de Chanel EDT. Now in the mids, this is where things start to change. You get a heavy dose of Ambroxan and pepper, but you also get violet leaf. And that's the biggest, biggest separation between let's say uh, Dylan Blue, Der Sauvage, and Blue de Chanel. That violet leaf is so prominent, it's so noticeable that it surprisingly smells really good with ambroxan like normally a violet leaf would give me headaches but this mix with the ambroxan is heavenly i absolutely love it now in the dry down you also get tonka bean and incense how can you not like tonka bean and incense mixed together it just gives you this very smoky vanilla enjoyable scent that it's just a no-brainer when it comes to putting it into a blue fragrance and I really really like that Versace did that I absolutely love this fragrance it just absolutely reminds me of a classic blue fragrance what a blue fragrance should be in terms of everyday usage like this one to me I put this on as my daily no-brainer grab-and-go beater blue fragrance for the past month like this one to me is what I wear if I'm not going out somewhere fancy. If I do, I wear Blue de Chanel. If I'm not going out to a club or a concert, I would be wearing Dear Sauvage or YSLY EDP in those situations. But other than that, Dylan Blue reigns supreme. Very smooth, absolutely great performance. Three sprays of this on skin, keep that in mind, on skin gave me a solid seven hours on clothes forget about it you get like 10 hours this rivals ysly edp in terms of performance and it's at a cheaper price i can't believe i haven't checked out dylan blue so shout out to my viewers for recommending uh, versace dylan blue i should have listened earlier because this to me is my third favorite blue fragrance first you have blue de chanel's der sauvage and now we have Dylan Blue. Dylan Blue is amazing. <laughs> this one to me is just like, it's going to be my signature fragrance. My signature blue fragrance for the for the foreseeable future. It's absolutely that good. A lot of people say it's a teenager -y fragrance. I don't really get that. I feel like for this particular batch, I got a lot of Tonka Bean and Incense coming through. And that just really elevates it and gives it this matureness about it. Yet, you know, it's not a super old guy smelling fragrance. So I was initially put off by buying Dylan Blue because all the reviewers said it smells like a teenager fragrance. I'm starting to disagree with that. It smells just as good as a Dear Sauvage, just as good as a Blue de Chanel, but more of a casual vibe. So this one's super versatile. I would recommend this as a year-round fragrance. The Ambroxan here is very toned, not in your face. The pepper is not too in your face. Very, very safe blue fragrance. Yet, the violet leaf, the incense, and the tonka bean make it unique. So you're gonna get noticed 
by wearing this fragrance I definitely have um, I mostly get my compliments in the first hour the opening is very majestic very angelic love that bergamot and grapefruit very citrus and then Roxanne smooth as heck and then as it dries down it does come closer to skin so you're gonna get that hour to two hour to projection and then rest of that one feet scent bubble will last you about six hours and this is an absolute perfect fragrance to wear casually keep in mind compliments come in the first hour or two that's when it's projecting and then when it comes closer it smells good I haven't gotten crazy compliments as it dries down but it's still a good fragrance like I smell it I feel great uh, my girlfriend smells it and she absolutely loves it that's why I'm rocking this as my daily blue fragrance so guys Versace Dylan Blue absolutely love this fragrance great price great performance great compliments it is a little bit safe so if you're looking for something more unique you know you kind of have to look elsewhere but as a blue fragrance as a year rounder all occasion kind of fragrance Versace Dylan Blue does it affordable smells good fantastic opening smooth as heck dry down this is a no-brainer to me you'll you'll absolutely love it thank you to all my viewers for suggesting Versace Dylan Blue this one is a masterpiece in my collection and thank you guys let me know if you checked out Versace Dylan Blue I absolutely love it it's basically Dear Sauvage meets Blue de Chanel meets Violet Leaf from an Invictus Aqua kind of kind of point so I really like this really really like this and yeah I'm just, this is a staple in my collection that's all I have guys